Oh, well, they certainly had a beautiful day for a parade in Lawrenceville, didn't they? Absolutely. Anything you were doing outside today, it was great, but all good things sometimes do come to an end. And my understanding is tomorrow may look a little different. Let's check in with John Burnett and, and find out. John? I think I may just let you be the bearer of bad news. David. <laughs> no. you, you want to step over here with me? And I really don't. Take him no, through the rest I, of the I forecast? I want you to take it. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. All right, here we go. We got to tell you the truth one way or the other, folks, and that's what we're doing as we tell you what a beautiful day, as Julie and David indicated, we had today, and it's not going to be quite so beautiful, really, for the rest of the week. Thursday looks good, dry at least, but it'd be hard to beat this one. Wow, what a day it has been. Here we are at the Swickley Academy in Western Allegheny County, and it's just been gorgeous out there all day long. We had rain showers overnight, but they were very early, got out of the way, and we were left with this. How beautiful is that? I hate to get rid of the shot, actually. Here we are with temperatures. This is pretty sweet, too. Readings all in the 70s and even low 80s now. La Trobe, uh, Plum at 80 degrees each. I don't see anybody else unless you get out there and to west or east central parts of Ohio, McConnellsville is at 80 degrees. 76 in Morgantown and our Connellsville, minus the Mick. 72 in Friendsville and 77 degrees right now up in Indiana. How about that? All right. Meanwhile, at Pittsburgh International, 78 degrees. That's our high so far for the day. I can see us going up another tick or two before it's all said and done, so don't be surprised if we go into the books with an 80 degree day today. Humidity at 33%, nice and low. Winds out of the southwest and pressure just below 30 inches of mercury. And over the next six hours, here's the projection from the latest computer models, heading up close to 80, one more degree maybe to 79 by six, hanging in there at seven, and then we trail off slowly into the upper 60s as we head on toward midnight tonight. We'll also be seeing some showers that will certainly be moving in here if not by the midnight hours, then sh hour, then shortly thereafter, those showers are on the doorstep now over to our west, just north of Cambridge, moving toward western PA at about 15 to 20 miles an hour. So it's going to take a while for them to get in here, but they will arrive. And when they do, we'll hear a clap or two of thunder. I don't think there'll be any severe weather, certainly not tonight or early tomorrow. And then as we head through the day tomorrow, there'll be spotty showers off and on as well as Wednesday. So a couple of wet days ahead, not wall to wall rain, but there will be some spotty showers. Keep the umbrella handy both Tuesday and Wednesday. As you can see, Wednesday does look to be the wetter of the two days. The good news is this line of showers gets through here about seven o'clock on Wednesday night, and then we dry out beautifully. And Thursday at this point is looking almost as nice as today was. Forecast says tonight, partly cloudy skies up until midnight. Then we'll see clouds and showers moving in 61 degrees our overnight low our high tomorrow once again in the mid to upper 70s but we'll be dealing with spotty showers not a total washout and there will be some sunshine and the warm air stays in place all week long really now we do cool off a little bit as we head into thursday 72 degrees but we get a nice dry stretch a long stretch with morning showers on wednesday all day thursday dry and then as we head into friday we will be dealing with some showers and spotty storms that don't get out of here until early on Saturday, but then we dry out for the rest of the weekend and beyond. Sunday and Monday look great. Guys?